Loru ka Jesu. Amen. Loru ka Jesu. Amen. Oba iye. Anye olopo lopo. Fun e wa ye re. Awa iran Adamu. Ti a ti doku. Eni kiku. Owa so wa de alai. Oluwa gbo ko e wa. Amen. Nenu oro iye re, lo ni Oluwa iye wa, mu wa ye lopopo. Amen. Loruko Jesu. Oluwa ati Olugba la wa. Amen. Ebe ta ba la ye wa de ni ose to koja. The juncture we got to in our explanation last week. Ti a se pe no. And the we promised well, say ye, that this week test what you, we would continue no with the explanation on iruikuti, Adam Lori, was the kind of death which the Lord placed on Adam toka, and which passed upon all men by the leading of the Holy Spirit we shall spend a lengthy time on explaining the kind of death which the king of life placed on Adam as his judge at that time. The major reason we will tarry on our explanation on this test that was placed on Adam is our observation by the work of destruction which Satan continues with on our lives as sons of Adam. What is that destructive work that we have observed? It is that its deceit on man still continues. That death in Genesis chapter 3 verse 19 and verse 22 through 24 which the Lord placed on Adam. Satan hides it. The king of life which placed death on Adam. What he says in the Bible that we should not reckon with that that death has no meaning, has no value that that death is not destruction it is what Satan is promoting it is what they reckon with as death but the general death which is destruction that the Lord placed on Adam because of his sin Satan has hidden it from us. In Luke, Luke chapter 12, from verse 4, the Lord speaks about two kinds of death. He says we should not reckon with one, but the second is the general death and this second death and it only the one who can use it to kill we must fear and we can observe that this one which the Lord calls the second death is that death in Genesis chapter 3 verse 19. Now let's read Luke chapter 12 from verse 4 to consider the two kinds of death which the Lord speaks about. 
That's the Lord who is speaking. The word of God who made Adam in the garden of Eden. The word of God who placed death on him is the one speaking what we are reading. Yes. 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 My friends, you who have become my friends, you who have become friends of the king of life, you who have become my sheep, I declare, I say unto you, do not be afraid of all those who can kill the body. This body, the earthy garment, the earthy garment, which I, the king of life, I, the word of God, gave to cover the spirit of man. All those who can pull down that body, they have nothing more to do. Do not be afraid of all of them. Read on. I will tell you the one you must fear. I have told you earlier. Those you must not be afraid of. All those that it is only the body they can pull down and they can do nothing more I say be who they may say they are nothing do not be afraid of them now hear from my mouth that there is one whom you must fear and why must you fear him yes he will cast the spirit to hell after pulling down the body, he eat the body of a governor. He eat the body of a president. He eat the body of a worldly wealthy man. He eat the body of a general overseer of a church. He eat the body of a wage. He eat the body of an oluwo that he pulls down. He eat the body of an aquino that he pulls down. A son, a great lawyer. He eat his body that he pulls down. Be who, who he may in the world. No matter how great he is in the world, and be what he may, whatever men in the world call him, this being whom I'm speaking about, after he has pulled down the body. The spirit that is inside the body, he will grab it. The spirit which is a living being, this great being about whom I'm speaking, he will lay hold on the spirit. 
And cast it to hell. Like that wealthy man. In the book of Luke chapter 16. Verse 19 following. Following. After pulling down the body, all pastors in the church of the wealthy man, when they are busy reading different verses of the Bible to consecrate the grave where his body will be interred, is a fellow wealthy man. When they are doing the burial of their body on the earth, and the relatives of the wealthy man and his lovers, when they are busy spending their money in millions to buy cows and other ingredients they would use. For a great party. And they say, Yes, they must celebrate the departure of the wealthy man. The Lord says, There is a being which is the spirit that escapes from the body of the wealthy man. He has cast it to hell below in Luke Luke, chapter 12 verse 4 following the Lord says there is such great being who can kill the spirit after it has escaped from the body the Lord says he repeats that this being we must fear. Yes. Lord, on you are with me. Yes. Oh, Nikki, a bell. Oh, the bottle of Tanuma says, I emphasize to you. Make sure you fear this great being. What are we saying? You could tell me the death of the spirit that a spirit should escape from the earthen body that collapses God the maker of spirit for him to lay hold on the spirit and cast it to hell below and torment it there it is this death we said earlier that Satan has hidden the death of the spirit Satan has hidden but the death of the body that is the collapse of the body all over Nigeria countless people it is what they understand to mean death now Maybe there's someone who throughout his days in the world does not acknowledge God as his creator. He doesn't acknowledge God as his savior. Like the rich fool of Luke chapter 16. But without reckoning God, reckoning with God, without seeking God without receiving salvation without being redeemed without becoming a child of God in all these days in the world this word is is God earthly riches vain things of this world that we perish he serves them with his life when his end comes he grows old and his earthly body collapses peacefully peacefully people say his death is good and many will pray that may God help them 
to make their lives to be like his. How good things that man comes to this world to do that they too should do them. How great things that he becomes in life that they too should become them so that all men in the world will know them and that they should grow old as he has grown old and they should die peacefully. All great men in the world all general overseers of churches that they should gather to conduct his farewell celebration it is a work of the devil the one who has died in the death of Adam whose body collapses and the living spirit in him the spirit which God has rejected and the spirit doesn't go out to heaven but which is in hell below the one who is already in perdition he has no joys again he has no good things again. He has no pleasures again. He has no earthly glories again. How good things that he says is achieved in the world. They are no more. Forever. He is left with torment. Torment. This is what Satan has promoted. He has covered what the genuine death of the spirit is. And now he has promoted the collapse of the body to mean death. Men in the world do not fear God again. Men in the world, we do not seek God again. We do not reckon with salvation again. We do not reckon with the redemption of souls again. There are many who don't seek God at all. And countless people who claim to be seeking God, who claim to be accepting Jesus, we do not accept him to have eternal life. We do not accept him in order not to die a damn death. But we accept him so that we have good lives in the world. Many of us, we accept Jesus. How good things that we say people in the world do. We accept Jesus that we might do them. And many of our leaders whose churches we attend they too are teaching us that we should come to accept Jesus to have abundant wealth and have great money good money and have good breakthroughs in this world so that we have miraculous promotions and buy jets all good things of life that we boast of in the world and such general affairs many of them they say it is they the Lord has established for all men in the world that they are the any time proclaimers they are the any time preachers they are the ones who can see the face of God it is they who hear the voice of God because of what they are church auditorium is that largest all over the world two all great men in the world are their friends three all leaders of the world they eat and wine with 
Great others, first class others. They eat in their palaces and their congregation is the largest they say they are the greatest that they have witness that it is they who the Lord has established for all men in the world because they are the greatest in the world they do not teach people to become children of God for the spirit to go out from our bodies with joy for God to take it up to paradise that start heaven they do not teach people again worldly teachings it is what we members here because our general overseers worldly teachings they give they are unlike the apostles they do not promote the Savior. Okay. They do not promote salvation. Okay. They do not promote forgiveness of sin. Okay. That men might receive forgiveness of sin okay. and be delivered from a damnic death okay. okay. for the Lord to deliver us okay. from going to hell. And they said, we said, this is Satan's war. Okay. Because of that purpose of Satan, okay. Okay. Satan is still resolute on me. All of us, sons of Adam, Satan has determined we must perish like him. That we won't live and we won't reign with God. Because of this, we shall tarry on this explanation that death which the Lord placed on Adam what is its meaning in the Bible when we know it then we go to the second point that as the Lord abolished that death when we study this again we go to the third point the Adamic death that as the Lord abolished it so the and as he given life to her so that Paul preached that is the third point now today where we add more Bible references to explain the meaning of that death which God placed on Adam that death which passed upon all men in Luke chapter 12 which we read earlier we have got light there that that body should collapse that is not that death that Lord wants there that all those beings that could pull down their body we should not reckon with them then it tells us a second kind of death that the spirit should escape and God is the maker of spirit for him to lay hold on the spirit and cast it to hell and for God to torment yeah, no, 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 no. like the rich fool of Luke oh, okay. then, no, no. chapter 16 oh, no, no, no. that it is that God we must fear oh, no, no. that is the second kind of death oh, no, 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 no. which the Lord speaks about in Luke chapter 12 oh, no, no, no. is the Adamic death oh, no, no, no. is that death we read about in oh, no, no. Genesis chapter 3 oh, no, 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 no. verse 19 oh, no, no, no. that the spirit should escape that the spirit that escapes should not live forever in the glory of God that the spirit that escapes should not live forever with God that the spirit that escapes should not live forever in the city of God that the living spirit that goes out Yes. which is the spirit that it should go to eternal torment first in hell below where it will be reserved where it will be tormented until that time 
time of the final judgment and when the Lord comes back as the judge of all those who do not receive redemption in the world then the Lord will judge it that spirit that is being tormented in hell from that moment that, that it has escaped from the body that it should now go to the lake of fire all the years he will spend in hell below an angel of Satan called hell will torment him there listeners if you want to understand that truth that the spirits of sinners that are not redeemed that when their bodies collapse and they go down to hell where an angel of Satan called hell torments them you want to understand the truth read in the Revelation chapter 9 chapter 9 from verse 1 read it through verse 11 the Revelation chapter 9 verse 1 through 11 read it painstakingly here the Bible explains hell that it is a bottomless pit a bottomless pit that if you spend 2,000 years they are being tormented you won't get to the bottom it is a pit that is bottomless an angel of Satan called hell is there you read in that Revelation chapter 9 that that hell is the angel of the bottomless pit is the angel of hell who will be tormenting them we also read in that revelation chapter 9 that there is great fire in hell below we also read in that revelation chapter 9 that there are worms or insects in hell there is no time today to read that revelation in the future will it be privileged to give a teaching to give teachings on hell and the lake of fire where hell himself who is tormenting sinners in hell below will be tormented in the lake of fire as it is in the revelation chapter 20 there are teachings which are given this in the future hallelujah Hallelujah. Today now, let's now hear the saying of Jesus the Lord. Though we have had a bit in Luke chapter 12, let's hear more in other Bible chapters and verses where he speaks remember last week we read Genesis chapter 3 verses 22 and 23 and there we said that there are two meanings there which God gave to the death he placed on Adam the first he said Adam should not live forever that is the spirit of Adam would not live forever for God but he would live forever for Satan for hell if not for the work of redemption that delivered us from hell our spirits would have lived forever but not for God we said the second meaning is God expelled him from the garden of Eden we said this meaning that God expelled from the garden of Eden 
is that if the Lord had not come to bring God us back are. to himself by sacrifice on the cross eternal separation would have been between God and us human beings now let's read our Bible portion before we start today on the meaning which the Lord gives to the so he dead he placed on Adam in Luke chapter 9 we read in Luke chapter 12 there is the Lord who speaks now in Luke chapter 9 let's hear another saying of the Lord about the meaning that he gives to death which he placed on the sons of men through the saying of Adam Luke chapter 9 Verse 59 and verse 60. Oh, see, we fell a miracle. Yes. That's the Lord speaking. He said to another, Come and be following me. Yes. 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 Who, who, who he said we should not live forever because we have lost the king of life he came down from heaven himself and began to call men to himself the bible says he said to another come to me come and be following me the redeemer John says he didn't come to judge the world but he came to save us from the judgment of death which he placed on us he said follow me and that person wanted to be miserable like many today who are following the world who are not following the redeemer who are not following the king of life that they might live forever as we have said earlier those whose hearts Satan has darkened and for whom he has made this world they are done word with which they will perish together. Ah. This person answered the Lord. He said, Lord, I will follow you, but let it not be today. That's what many say today. Yes, you, the Lord, you have called me, I will follow me. I will follow you, but I'm still busy with something. Lord, pray for me. Let me succeed in oh, that thing, then I will come to follow oh, Lord, you. Think me. Lord, you have called me. But what is it? What about you? I cannot come now. But Lord, what about you? With many explanations of no, the truth. No, That's what this person oh, said. Lord, think me. Say that Lord, you have called oh, me. Down. I will answer your call. But, is but not today. Oh, the very Lord, school, but man, I man. want to go and bury my father. Oh, you need your money, Lord, you. Uh, that was important to that person. But what about me? My biological father. Father has died. My biological father has died. The Lord, do you understand that? We children and relatives, we want to have meetings on his burial. It's my biological father who has died. We want to do his burial. The Lord then answered him. The response of the Lord to him explains the death in Genesis. Chapter 3, verse 19. What was the Lord's reply? He said, Son, your father who has died is a dead. And you, son, want to do the burial? You are a dead. 
Bobo and one more yoku. All other children. Say Baba Ebi. That your father rear. Bobo and you Ebi. All of you is relatives. Lord Lucy. Here and there. There is a Padesi ku. That we have a meeting on the burial and do the burial. Bobo and one Juluma. All relatives. Little Shatiloke. Yes, far and near. To walk around my job. Who we gather themselves. That is their Yafoku. To do the burial. Bobo and you. All of you. Bobo and you. Are dead. That is what Adam did. All men became mortals. But not that the body collapses. It did not make death. All men have become the dead. There is none living among men. That's the king of life who came. Anyone who accepts him, he will give life to him. He will become a living. All you listeners, you who can hear me, anyone who doesn't have Jesus, who is life, you are a dead. Be who you may. What do I do? Be to. No matter how great you are. Jesus be. If Jesus says, Oh, tell on it, Joe. It's true you have a church to attend. On the leg, just you. You have a church auditorium. Oh, no, oh. You go to, you are a. Oh, no, no, Joe, man, oh. You are a top government oh, official. Oh, yeah, oh. You are a professor. Oh, so, oh, yeah, oh. You are everything. So, oh, no, me, oh. But you don't have me, Jesus. Oh, no, no. Then you don't have life. Oh, no, no. You are a dead. All men have become dead and the man Adam in Adam. Only cut on by Genesis. That's the death in Genesis. All the get I say cockroach. Chapter three, verse nineteen. And if you have a life again. The king who is speaking, Jesus, the king of life, who is calling us to himself, he is our life. We should come to him for life. That's why he's calling us. If you don't come to Jesus, you won't have a life. You will die in the death of Adam. When your body collapses, you, the living spirit, Dwelling in the body, turn down go go. Who become everything? Nano aye. In this world, anu apa di lo lo. You will go down to hell below. Oh kone lo ile. You won't go up to the land of life. Oh kone lo ile. You won't go up to the land of life. One of our Lord said by Jesus. And you who say you have accepted Jesus, he ye lo ba fu he. It is for life. You have accepted him. He ye lo ba ba fu. It is for life. You have been accepted. Sare kalu ni toduro. Read Luke, 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 Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. Verse 42. Shuba. Shuba. Oh, can you call it? She alone. Eh, uh, make you see. Shuba. Yes. Oh, can you call it? She alone. Eh, uh, can see. Shuba. Yes. Oh, can you call it? She alone. All men are mortals. Oh, can you call it? All men are the dead. Are. Presidents, Gomina. governors, Ajaba. professors, wealthy men in the world, anyone who Amen. is a human being is a mortal. Okay. Once you are a man, you are mortal. Whoever you may be, whatever you may be, once you are a man, you are not. Immortal. And you told ya, you are mortal. Oki she ane aiku, and the kiku ne ya. Oku ne bobo ne. All men are the dead. Jesus ni ye. Jesus is life. Yo ba wa. You don't come. Ko wa ba Jesus. To accept Jesus. You ko le itoloro. The death that is venomous. Tolo asone pare. Which the Lord speaks about. Ka gua la le wo. That your body should go out. Ka me le jade. And your spirit should go out. Ka la no pa me le wo. And for God to destroy your spirit. In hell, and in the lake of fire, that will be your portion. After your life that you are spending, now, we will continue next week. May the Lord help us.
have been lived in the king of slaves who have his life already may we follow him to the end when our lives will end may we go out to the land of life we who are yet to have him may we have him so that we can go to the land of life may the Lord of Lord next week we will read more bible references about the meaning which the Lord of life gives to the dead that is placed on Adam may the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus our Lord and Savior Amen Oh, hey.
Lati jo afo pe Christi lati mu eko ti esese gbotan yi wa se ti gbo yin oni wa su yin ni olusu agbotan je o oludare olu ijo wa wa ni popo na ilesha si ilu akure lati ma awon ebi ti e ka wa wa ni osogo ile ife ibadan akure eko ikare adu ekiti atawon ilu miran E fi ate jise yin ranse si odo ejo o kan odo ejo odo meta to tele ra won eta aro ati o kan e darapo mo wa fun wakati rere ayo on la la si ko yi kan na lo se to nbo Set, see, I'm not just a liar. 